All right, Edge Nerds, in this video, we're going to talk about the teeth. All right, so we're going to look at a whole bunch of different structures here. We're going to take a look at an actual nice size tooth here, look over all the components. We'll take a look at the maxillary and the mandibular components, and then we'll take a look at the maxillary and mandibular detention. But well, first thing we're going to start off with is we're going to start digging in here into the tooth. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this tooth. So <laughs> let's see here. We start up here. You see how it has like this little outline from this top part here to the bottom part here. It's representing it with this like space here for 17. This is representing the crown of the tooth. So if you go from the top part here to the tooth till you get to like right around here where the gingiva is, that's the crown, okay? Now the gingiva is actually kind of snugged right around this part of the tooth, and that part of the tooth is actually called the neck, okay? So you have the crown of the tooth from the top here to get right around the gingiva, and then where the gingiva is kind of nicely like firmly connected there and kind of like right around the tooth, that's the neck, okay? Then as you go below this, so as you can see here, we're gonna go from this point here down, as we go down, we're going to go all the way to the root of the tooth, okay? So just so we can make it clear here, from here to here is the crown, from here to here is the root, but right here where the gingiva is nicely firmly and uh, very close in contact with the tooth is kind of like the neck of the tooth. All right, cool. Now, next thing that we have to understand is what is this outer part of the tooth composed of? Well, it's actually going to be composed with an outer kind of like hard, very, very tough substance called enamel. If you guys didn't know this, enamel is actually the hardest substance in the entire body. Okay, so that's really, really important. So enamel is very important. It's the outer substance of the tooth and it's really, really hard substance. Okay, that's that one. As we move a little bit more internally, there's another really, really important component here. This right here, 20, is a lot, made up a lot of nice protein rich like material here. So it's all this part here. So if I go all the way around here, it's all this like orangish color here. All that is going to be a very important structure. It's called dentin. And there's these cells called odontoblasts, odontoblasts, which are kind of like right where the pulp is. They're producing a lot of this dentin, okay? So this here is called dentin. It's kind of like a protein-rich material with a lot of other different types of substances in it, okay? So that's our dentin. So we have the enamel, which is making the outer part of the tooth. Then we have the dentin, which is kind of like the inner core of the tooth. But now if we go in, you see this nice little cavity here? This nice cavity here is called the pulp cavity. And the pulp cavity consists of what's called pulp, okay? The pulp is actually going to be having a lot of connective tissue. There's a lot of connective tissue structures in there, as well as some other different types of things. As you can see, you're going to see some nice little arteries and veins and nerves in this area. These artery veins and nerves are basically supplying a lot of cells within this region, primarily that of some of the odontoblasts, as well as other different types of bony cells in this area. Okay, so again, really, really important thing is gonna be the pulp. The pulp is made up of the blood vessels, which are the artery, the vein br branches, and even some of the nerve branches, which is in this connective tissue kind of area here. That's called the pulp. Now, as we go down, as we work from the pulp cavity down towards the root, there's a little canal. That little canal is called the root canal. Now the root canal is really important because this is where the actual arteries and the veins and the nerves are actually running up through. So again, root canal is going to be consisting of this tiny little canal which is carrying the arteries, the veins, and the nerves towards the pulp cavity, okay? Or in this case, maybe even away from the pulp cavity. So that's the root canal. Now here you can see where a lot of the substances enter into the root canal. So now we have these little structures, as you can see, 15. 15, it depends on which tooth it's actually supplying, but if it's the upper teeth or your maxillary teeth, this would be what's called the superior alveolar artery. If it's below the teeth, like in the, ma uh, the um, mandibular portion, this would be the inferior alveolar artery. Same thing here, this would be either the superior or inferior alveolar vein, and this could be the uh, superior or inferior alveolar nerves, okay? As you'll notice, there is no lymphatic vessels that are going into the pulp cavity. That's an important concept there, okay? Very, very important. All right, so we covered that. Now there's one last thing that I want to cover about the tooth and then we'll cover some other surrounding structures. You see this protein rich kind of like material here with a lot of connective tissue and a lot of other different types of matrix like material. It's number 23. This is kind of anchoring the tooth to parts of the actual uh, periodontal like membrane around this area. This uh, structure is called cementum, okay? <clears throat> so this is called cementum. That's 23 there, all right? It's called cementum. Then you're gonna notice, do you notice kind of like this little connections here. There's the, this is actually the bony part. You know there's a little socket. This, imagine this whole little socket that the tooth is sitting in. This whole little socket that the tooth is sitting in is called the alveolus. 
Okay, so it's called the alveolus. It's a little socket that the tooth actually sits in. Now, that's important because when the tooth sits in there, it actually has a nice little connection with the bone. And this like little membrane that you kind of see here, it's this nice little pink membrane. This is called the periodontal membrane, which has a lot of ligaments that are connecting this uh, tooth to the bone. Those ligaments are like called the periodontal ligaments. So again, this pink membrane here is called the periodontal membrane, and it contains ligaments called the periodontal ligaments. Another thing that's important is that when the tooth is sitting in the alveolus, it's held together by fibrous connective tissue to the tooth. That's a special type of joint. That's called a, a, a special type of fibrous joint called the gomphosis joint, okay? Now, let's kind of cover some other structures here real quick. So you see here 25, this nice little pink-like tissue here. This is called the gingiva, very important tissue here. Helps to be able to keep the tooth basically in the situated very, very nicely within this alveolus and prevents uh, certain types of microorganisms from trying to spread in. That's why if there's a lot of inflammation, you can get that gingivitis there, right? It can cause a lot of problems there. All right, so there's the gingiva and there's the gingiva on this side. And then again, just so that you're aware, this is basically the actual bone right here where the actual, or the alveolus, that little cavity where the actual tooth is sitting in. Okay, but this is a part of the bone, so it could be maxillary bone or it could be uh, mandibular bone. Just depends upon which one we're looking at. All right, so that covers a lot of the actual anatomy of the tooth. Now let's go ahead and look at just a little bit more. We talk about the maxillary and the mandibular teeth. All right, guys, so now we're going to take a look here at the two different types of dentention. So if you look here, A is just basically representing that this is the maxillary dentention. So we're looking at the teeth for the maxillary bone there. And then B is just representing that this is going to be the mandibular dentition. We're looking at the teeth for the, around the actual mandible bone. So let's start up here with the maxillary, work our way around here with the teeth. It's going to be a good nice, like we'll go this way and then we'll recap coming back this way. So looking here at the teeth, your first one that you're going to have is basically your molars. You're going to have third molar, second molar, and first molar, okay? Then from there, we're going to go to the next one, which are your premolars, okay? So these are your premolars, four and five. So if you look here, we're going to have uh, your second premolar and your first premolar. Then we're going to go to this next one, which is called your canines. So this is your canines right there, number three, if you can see that. Then we're going to go into this next one, which is the lateral incisor and then the central incisor, okay? So let's go ahead and recap that going back this way. So this is a central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, uh, first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, third molar, okay? That covers that. Then if you look here, you're gonna see all of this part here. This is basically a part of the maxillary bone. So this is the hard palate. All this part right here is your hard palate. As you go back a little bit more posteriorly, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of soft palate here. It's gonna consist of a lot of soft connective tissue and muscle. Then as we keep working our way back, we go into this nice little arch. You see this arch right here, guys? This little arch right there and here is called the palatoglossal arch. So we got hard palate here, then we have soft palate, and then we have the palatoglossal arch, and we have this nice little structure here, this little uh, punching bag in the back of your throat called the uvula, okay? Now, we're gonna go over here to the mandible. It's basically just gonna be another recap. So if we hit this again, you're gonna see here, central incisor, lateral incisor, cause uh, the canines, you're gonna call this one the first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, third molar, okay? That covers that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this structure up here and it's basically just gonna be the same thing. It's just giving you a different view, okay? So just to be the same here, if you look at A, A is just representing that these are the maxillary teeth, B is representing that these are the mandibular teeth. And it's gonna be the same exact thing. So if we follow it, one would be your central incisor, two would be your lateral incisors, three would be your canines, four would be the first premolar, five would be the second premolar, six would be the first molar, seven would be the second molar, and eight would be the third molar. If you guys want me to do it again, guess what? It's right here for the mandible. This is the central incisors right here. This is gonna be the lateral incisors, this is gonna be the canines, this is gonna be the first premolar, second premolar, first molar, second molar, third molar, and again, you can see in there, what is this structure here called? Pulp cavity coming down as the root canal, and you're gonna see here the actual uh, alveolar nerve. Since this is actually the mandible, this is the inferior alveolar nerve, that yellow structure, number 14. 15 is the inferior alveolar artery, and 16 is the inferior alveolar vein. All right, engineers, so we basically covered everything that you guys would need to know about the teeth. Um, I hope it made sense. I hope that you guys really did like it. I hope it helped you guys. If it did, please hit the like button, comment down in the comment section, and please subscribe. As always, engineers, until next time.